Hey, welcome back guys. We are in town. My brother-in-law came to town to visit, so we came in to see him. So a lot of people don't like the boat videos, but guess what? Some people are moving to the southeast and they want to know what I'm doing with my boat because they want to do something similar uh, as well. So that's why we make the boat videos. It's not just for everybody. It's for a particular little crowd, a little tiny crowd. But that's the reason why we do it. So today what we're going to do is uh, when we go into town, we always run the issue or the threat of something getting stolen off the boat. And we don't really have a lot of storage room in the boat. And so we're always having to load stuff in and out, in and out. So what I did is I went to uh, Home Depot. I got some utility boxes like for a pickup truck. And basically we're going to bolt those to the panel on the the floor panel and and then that way we can use those boxes as seats and we can also uh put our items inside there lock them up and then that way they're i mean everything's can be stolen broken into but keeps an honest man honest and that's what we're here for let's get this project underway the first thing we got to do is we got to get this panel up and out of the way because there's a my fuel tank is in here somewhere I'm never taking these off so but I know my fuel tank is here and I know there's a fuel line that runs somewhere in here and I don't know where it is and to bolt this thing to this panel I don't want to be drilling holes and get into my fuel tank or get into that fuel line so I'm going to take this off we can see where the stuff is mark it and then we can put everything back drill the holes All right, so there you can see whoop, this right here. That's my fuel tank. This is a going into the fuel tank. That's not where I fill up. That must be a vent. Anyways, well, that's good. Now we know uh, where to drill, where not to drill. So we'll put some marks uh, on this panel. That way we'll know exactly where the stuff's located at. And, and then, uh, then we can go from there. All right, there we go. So I marked where the hose is. I marked where that aluminum uh, bracing is, and then where the where it starts, where it stops, and then I marked this little one over here. So we should be able to put some bolts in somewhere in between here and and get this thing bolted down. I took that uh, that platform out of the boat, the little flooring. I put it down here on some sawhorses. There's that. I made the marks. So now we're going to drill through that thing. Uh, I was going to do it on the boat but the anchors that I'm using for the bottoms instead of nuts uh, they're gonna like screw into the wood and uh, I couldn't do that so I had to take it completely out but um, we'll, we'll set it up mark it up make some holes and I'll show you what we're doing so here's the game plan is we're going to use these these are gonna be on the bottom right we'll drill the holes and then once we get the bolts once we get the bolts in here and we start tightening them down, then then this thing will will um, if you if it focus focus, whoop, then this thing will bite into the wood, and then that way if we want to take it out, we can take it out and this will stay stationary. So we have some marks on here, and I just got to find out where I put it. It's going to be going this way. All right, so that's what we're working with there. So we got a 3 8 inch nut. It's two inches long. Uh, I doubled up on the washers just to get them set. I have to take it all apart and then put it back together inside the boat because I can't put the, the, the platform or the floor back in with the boxes on it. So uh, this is just mocking it all up. And then all we're doing is setting that anchor down in there in the bottom. Focus. There you go. So your teeth are going to be facing up into the wood 
And we'll thread this thing up. Thread it up till it's touching the wood. And then I take a, a rubber mallet, whack on it a couple times to get them teeth to bite into the wood. And then I go up top and just uh, thread it till it's tight and then they're set. That's it. We got everything uh, mocked up here. Now we're going to put the, the flooring back inside the boat. Uh, we'll get it all screwed down and then we'll put the, the utility chest inside the boat. Alright, so we got the box uh, back in the boat. Now I just gotta find the holes. There you go. There you go, there's one. Then put the other two in, and this side's done. So there it is, it's all bolted in. Let's see what it looks like when we set in it. Oh, well, hold on. Let's get bring the Mustang suits in here. All right. Now comes the time of truth. Will the Mustang suits fit? Of course they will. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this. Two Mustang suits and we got room left over. Thumbs up. <laughs> What do you think? Is that a good idea? Good idea. I think so too. Alright, so that's what the finished product looks like. So that way you can put your storage inside there. I can still put all my 2x whatever's, 2x2x4s, two by, two by 2x6s, by 2x8s uh, in here. And then the cool thing is, is you can use these as benches. And then what we can also do is I can just use a tote, put the tote like right here, right? And then it'd be the same height or near the same height as this and that way I can still travel and put plywood inside the boat and the plywood will just rest on top of these two uh, boxes of course I'm not in the picture why would I want to be in the picture <laughs>